the basic of synthesis now precision points for function generation <clears throat> as we know very well we had used the chebyshev equation for spacing of the precision points and uh, the range which is given to you that is starting point to the finish point uh, the chebyshev can define the equation with the help of Fredenstein and Sanders equation and the equation is like this as you can see in the slide that x j is equal to one half of x s plus x f minus one half in the bracket x f minus x s cos pi in the bracket two j minus one by two n. That we know very well that uh, x s is the starting point and x f is the finish point and if I am talking about the difference of x f minus x s then it is called as a real x. Okay, where j is equal to one to up to n. As already discussed earlier in the uh, videos and in the lecture, so we just uh, refer the uh, previous lecture. So it's very easy for you to understand. Now, based on that uh, space, this is the Chebyshev spacing equation. Based on that equation, I can uh, just define the equation for the angle. You can see here the. Four by ten mechanism is given to us. That is A B C D. Now in A B C D, A D is already fixed. That we know very well from the figure. A B is on theta angle. This is the actual and this is the this is the actual uh, position of A B. And while A B is on theta angle, um, parallelly on that time, C D is also in the phi angle. Okay. And uh, B is connected with the C, so I am getting the A B C D mechanism, where A D is the fixed link. If I I just uh, get the uh, initial position, say theta s, it is the initial position, it is considered as a B one, and uh, final position theta f, it is considered as a B two. While it may be on uh, theta s position on that time, uh, the C point may be on C one position, or we or we are considered that it may be on the highest position. Simultaneously, if uh, B two is on uh, uh, del, del theta f uh, position on simultaneously on that time, C two is on the phi f condition. So we are getting this kind of figure where starting and final point is given to you, and based on that, we are just uh, applying that equation uh, to the Chebyshev equation. So we are getting this equation that theta is equal to for input theta is equal to theta s plus Theta f minus theta s divided by x f minus x s in the bracket x minus x s. Okay, so same way you have to remember the equation for output. And the equation is same, but in place of theta we are using phi, and in place of x we are using y. Okay, so you have to remember the equation. Very important uh, equation and very important for the exam point of view also. Now. Theta consider for the input angle and phi consider as the output angle. As we know that f for finish point and s for the starting point and except for the input x s uh, once again for the input but starting point same way y f and y y s are the output finish and starting point is the key. Okay, so these are some basic point that you know and uh, basic terms that you have to understand. Now based on the equation. Uh, already we defined three equation here. Chebyshev equation, uh, it is considered for the spacing and angular equation and for theta and phi. So based on that equation, I just uh, solve one example. A four-bar mechanism is to be designed by using three precision points to generate the function. Y is equal to x raised to 1.5. You can see here that y is the output, x is the input, and x raised to 1.5 is given to you. The range is given to you one one less than equal to x less than equal to four. Okay, so the range is given to us. Now assuming thirty degree starting position, so we are considered that th theta s is equal to thirty degree and one twenty degree finishing position. So theta f is equal to one twenty degree. The input link and the ninety degree starting position and one eighty degree finishing position for output link. So phi s ninety degree and uh, phi f is equal to <coughs> One eighty, find the value of x, y, theta, and phi corresponding to 
the three precision point here they mentioned that they have to use three precision point so we are used that n is equal to three okay now from the data starting point access one except for theta is 30 theta is 120 pi is 90 and pi is 180 now <coughs> as per Chebyshev's equation where n is equal to 3 so we know the equation so we just put initially the equation that is One half excess plus except minus one half except minus excess. Whenever uh, this kind of data is given to you, already we discussed in the tutorial also in the lab. So you have to just uh, from the data, you have to just write down the equation and you have to put the value. You can see here that S is equal to one, F is equal to four, one half except or minus one cos pi two in place of j. This is for the first point. Uh, we are considered to the three points. So x1, x2, uh, two into j, j is equal to one. We are considered first minus one divided by two into, and here y n is equal to three because three precision points are there. So we are getting, if we solve the equation, then we are getting the answer that is 1.2. Same way x2 in place of j, here initially we are put one, but in place of J we are putting now two. So we are getting 2.5 and same way for three, we are getting 3.8, okay? So the three precision points, X1, X2, X3 may be determined. Uh, that is uh, 1.2, 2.5 and 3.8. Now we have the equation as we know very well that Y is equal to X is to 1.5. So we put the value of X1, X2, X3, where X1 1.2, X2 2.4, and 3, X3 is equal to 3.8. So we are getting the three different value for Y. That is Y1, Y2, and Y3. So these are the basic values of Y1, Y2, and Y3. Same way we are getting the starting and finishing point of the output. We have the equation that Y is equal to X is to 1.5, where the range is 1 to 4, so in place of x, we have put 1 for the starting point, and in place of x, we have put 4, then we are getting the range of ranging finish point. So it is given at here, ys is equal to xs raised to, see, uh, for these all things, you need calculator. So I just, I just uh, request and I recommend it to all of you that whenever you are uh, solve any kind of this example, then please uh, keep it with you a calculator so very easy for you and see uh, I just want to tell you one thing that this example is very easy but uh, it is some laborious work is there so uh, I just uh, want to say you that okay, if possible you can do exercise two and three times at your home then and then uh, you may finish your example in time okay so now we are getting this range now value of theta as we know the equation we have based on the equation or theta and phi so same equation we are applying at here <coughs> theta j is equal to theta s plus theta f minus theta s divided by x f minus x s in the bracket x j minus x s so in place of theta s and in place of theta f we are just putting the value for 1, 2, and 3, where xj, x1, 1.2, xj, x2, 2.5, xj, x3, 3.8. Okay, so this is, uh, you take it in your mind that we are getting three different value for theta input, that is 36, 75, and 114. Simultaneously, for phi 1, <coughs> phi 2, phi 3, you have to remember that in place of xj, we are put yj. So we have to get the value of y that already we ensure initially that is 1.316, uh, 3.925, and 7.41 that we are put at here and we are getting the value. So these are the input and 
<coughs> output values input and output values for theta and phi okay so this kind of example most probably ask in your exam then uh, you have to just calculate uh, calculate with the help of calculator and find the answer you, you try to finish your example to solve in within 7 or 8 minutes then and then it may be very easy for you to complete the whole paper in time okay now next one very important that is graphical synthesis of forward mechanism before uh, before i want to uh, say about the uh, theory point of view or graphically how it may be represent i just uh, want to describe that uh, by uh, one one video given to you and after that uh, i just uh, explain you via uh, ppt so you just uh, uh, focus on uh, one and two video of the graphical method and then we are uh, discussing the one and one and two example of uh, based on the graphical method and based on the synthesis we are using one is relative pole method also video is visible to all relative pole method and second one is by inversion method inversion method you have two different approaches are there here in this lecture we are going to see about how to graphically synthesize a mechanism using inversion method that means by inversion method during synthesis we know there will be two point synthesis are there three point synthesis are there that means three point synthesis means for and uh, during designing of mechanism we know the two precise points of this mechanism for three point synthesis we know the three precise points of the mechanism three pre uh, precise points means uh, we know the out uh, accurate three positions of the mechanisms okay if the input uh, input theta moves from one position to second position where should be the output link come, should come from that is the accurate points example okay we are uh, again discuss with an accuracy here i am taking this question from the lesson that means exercise number 5.3 okay in this question what they are Uh, what they are referring means is design a four bar mechanism four bar mechanism to coordinate the three positions that means the three points in the system three positions of input and output link for the following angular displacement that means in this position and uh, positions three uh, in this question three points are given we need to design the four bar mechanism accordingly that uh, here The theta one to two is equal to thirty five degree, and the theta one to three is equal to eighty degree. Phi one to two is equal to fifty degree, and phi one three is equal to eighty degree. First of all, we know we need to know what is mean by this theta angle and what is mean by this phi angle. Theta is 
the angle coordinated with the input ring. Theta angle coordinate with input ring. And phi is the angle coordinated with output ring. And theta is the input ring and phi is the output ring in suppose I am just drawing in input ring and output ring. Suppose for a four bar mechanism, this may be the input ring, this first position. Okay. This angle, this that means angle with respect to this horizontal, this theta. This is the theta. Okay. This theta one to two means suppose this is the first position. The uh, the input ring should move to the 35 degree in clockwise manner or an anti-clockwise manner. That means if theta the second position is here. This is the 30 degree, 35 degree. This is a theta 1 2. This is theta 1 2. This means from 1 to 2 position is 35 degree. This is our angle. Okay. Now, 5 into 2 means suppose this may be the output ring. Suppose this may be the output ring. If theta in the theta angle, that means theta 1 to 2 position. If theta input 2 angle position displaces to 35 degree, the output angle phi should displaces to 50 degree. That is the meaning. Okay, suppose this is the position of the input link at first, at initially. If the theta angle moves, that means if the input link moves to 35 degree, the out, output link should displaces to an angle 50 degree. To 50 degree. This is the second position. Sorry, this is the second position. Okay, one dash dash two dash. We need to design a formal mechanism accordingly. Okay, for that we are just going to draw that one. In this question, we need to observe the two different points. Here I am going to take arbitrarily any length of the link. Okay, that means in a four bar mechanism, fixer link is there, input ring is there, a coupler ring is there, output ring is there. In this question, no link is provided. Okay, any one of the links. Hence, I am going to take my, um, my length or arbitrary length. Okay, for the two links, any of the two links, that means I am here, I am taking the length of the fixer link, length of fixer one, and the length of output link length of output link in arbitrary manner. Okay, arbitrary manner means it is my interest. Uh, if for this question I am here, I am going to take the length of the pixel link is 6 centimeter and for output link is 4 centimeter. Okay, this is my interested value. This is my interest um, my interested value. This 6 centimeter and 4 centimeter is arbitrarily taken. Okay. Now we are go, uh, going to start the synthesis of the four-bar mechanism using the graphic uh, by the inversion method. Okay, for that one, first we need to fix the two different points. That means the length of the fixer links. For marking, for that marking, I am going to mark here two points. Six centimeter. Okay, six centimeter. I am fixing. Fixing this link. Here I am fixing this link. Okay. This is O1 and O2. Now I am going to take this length of the output ring is 4 centimeter in any arbitrary angle. In any arbitrary angle means in any, it is my interest. That means the 4 centimeter. Length of the output ring is 4 centimeter. It is my interest. Okay. This angle is my interest. Suppose if you need to take this angle, okay, it will be fine. Now this is my this is my initial position uh, final initial position one or one dash. Okay. In second step, let me first step I just draw a fixer link and output link. Okay. In second step I need to draw 
first I need to consider this phi 1 to as 50 degree that means 1 to 2 second position is 50 degree displacement and 1 and phi 1 to 3 that means initial to final is 80 degree displacement okay I am going to I'm going to draw a cone for that one from this initial point this is the initial point the second point should be the displacement of angle 50 degree I am going to take the 50 degree angle This is our 50 degree, 1 to 2. This is the second position. This is a 50 degree angle. Now, one initial to final point, that means the third point, it is 80 degree. Hence, I am going to take the initial point and final degree as 80 degree. You can see it is 80 degree. I already said the link of the length, uh, the fixer link should be the same. The length should be the same. Hence, I am making these two different points. This is a second point, two dash, and this is a three dash point. Okay, this angle should be theta is, sorry, phi is 50 degree in clockwise manner. Okay, and one, two, three. Phi is 80 degree. Or in suppose in another question, they will give the theta two to phi two to three should be 30 degree. Okay. Hence also let me say. That means this is angle for phi two to three. Here the phi one to two is given and one to three, the initial and final positions is given. Here the two to three in second position to third position it is 30 degree but I'm be the question may be as like so the next step is I'm just going to join this fixed point and this second point okay this second position from this question we know that for obtaining this 50 degree output link displacement how much the input link should move that is 35 degree that is obtained from that question hence what i am going to do means i am going to take this entire plane that means o1 to 2 dash to 35 degree anti clockwise manner okay here please listen for this output link displacement i am all, i am taking all the angles in clockwise manner okay but for drawing the input link link i am just taking o O1 to 2 dash in anti clockwise manner. That means the second position is over 35 degree. Hence, I am going to take 35 degree in anti clockwise manner. That means I am just putting, I am just putting the angle in 35 degree. Okay. And 35 degree. And I am marking that position. I am now drawing this 2 dash line. O2 line in 35 degree. This is 35 degree. Okay. 35 degree. And, and the position of 2 dash will come here now. Now this is the position of 2 dash. And this is the position of point 2. I am here putting the point 2 as point 2. Okay. Similarly, I am going to draw this third line for the third position. I'm just joining the O1 and 3. If the output link is moving to the 80 degree position, 80 degree position, the input link should this also displace 80 degree. Okay, that is I get it from question. Hence, so what I'm going to do means I'm just taking 80 degree from this joint line. This means this is the end line. I'm just turning this in their line to 80 degrees 80 degree in anti clockwise manner this is anti clockwise manner i'm just taking this 80 degree line okay now i'm going to draw a line through this point now the third point is comes here now the third point should come here
the third point should come here. Now this is our three position. Okay. Now what I am going to do means now just just join this one dash and two point, one dash and two point, and one dash and three point. One dash and three point. And what I am going to do means I am just drawing perpendicular bisectors to three and one dash line and two and one dash line. I am just going to draw it perpendicular bisector for these two lines. Okay. For that purpose, I am just taking more than half length. Okay. Just I am going to cut this. This is a perpendicular bisector. This is a perpendicular bisector for the one to two dash line. One to two dash line. I'm just drawing that one. And perpendicular bisector for one dash to three. I'm just going to draw perpendicular bisector for one dash and three. This is a two point. This is a perpendicular bisector. Okay. Now we will get a point at which the two perpendicular bisects meet. This is our initial point. Okay. Please listen. One dash and two. One dash and two. Are we draw a perpendicular bisector and one dash and three we draw another perpendicular bisector. Okay. These two perpendicular bisectors will meet at a particular point. This is our industrial point. That means. From this point to the fixed line, this should be our output link. And from this point to this one dash, this is our coupler link. Length of our coupler link. To achieve this particular coordinate systems. Okay. Suppose if you need to check this and this one, whether it is right or wrong, just displace this input link. Okay. This just displace this input link. I am just taking this. This is one. I am just taking this is this input into 35 degree clockwise direction. I am just going to take this input link in clockwise direction. Okay. I am just take this input link in clockwise direction. This is 35 degree. Okay. Now this may be the position. This may be the position. And the length of the link O21, O121 will come here. Will come here now. This one one dash coupler link, one one dash coupler link may be comes here and the output link O2 to one dash will come here. You will see this is our point. Now just we are going to measure it. Okay. Now I'm just going to measure it. Here we will see if the input link is moving to the 35 degree in clockwise direction, 35 degree in clockwise direction, the output link that means this. One dash two will move to here. Will move to here. That means this angle should be fifty degree. This angle should be in fifty degree manner. Okay, that is the record mechanism. Okay, thank you. If you need to check the third point, it will also be in similar manner. Okay, please check according to the similar manner as the second position displaces. Thank you. In this approach, please go to the part one, which I already explained. That means the three position synthesis for the four bar mechanism.
in the first lecture. Okay, in this lecture, we are going to see how to design a slider clamp mechanism by the graphical approach. Here I am going to uh, teach the synthesis of mechanism using the inversion method approach. Okay. Here I am taking a question from a weapon that means exercise 5.4. Here in this question, what is the, our requirement means if the in a slider crank mechanism, this is an in a slider crank mechanism, that means a slider crank mechanism is there. That means if the crank rotates 360 degree or if the crank is moving, the, the slider will reciprocate on a surface or two. Okay, this is a slider crank mechanism. What is our requirement means if the input angle is displaced to 30 degree in the first to second position, that means if the input angle and input link is displaced to 30 degree, the slider should move 40 mm from the initial point. That means the slider should move here to here. That means 40 mm. This is our second position. Okay. And similarly, if the, if the input angle is moved to the one to third position, that means initial to final point is 60 degree. If it is displaces to 60 degree, the slider should move from initial point to final point. It should be in 96 degree. That means initial to final point, it should be 96 degree. 96 mm, sorry, 96 mm. This is 40 mm from this point to this point. Now we are going to see, uh, see how we are synthesis mechanism. In this question also, in the similar manner, no length is given. Okay. In this question, an intercity factor is in the eccentricity factor is given. What is meant by eccentricity in the slider crank? Here, in this figure, the eccentricity is no eccentricity, uh, eccentricity is there. That means the eccentricity is zero. That means the distance between this fixed point and the slider distance. That means this parallel distance between the this surface and this fixed point. Suppose if I draw the diagonal like so, that means this is a fixed point. And from this fixed point into here, I'm taking some displacement. This is the offset distance, offset or eccentricity distance. Eccentricity distance. The link will come here. Okay, the slider will come here like so. This is offset distance. Okay. Now we are going to see how to define a slider crank mechanism. Okay, for that, first we need to fix up the two points. One is the fixed point. Here I am going to take the fixed point one. Okay, this is the fixed point for O1. I'm just going to draw one. This should be in fixed manner. From here, I'm going to take the 20 mm offset distance. 20 mm offset distance. 20 mm offset distance. Okay. Twenty mm offset distance. At first, I am going to take a any arbitrary point in this offset distance. Okay, here through these points, the slider will displace us through this point or through this line. Okay, here I am going to take this is a set as a, this is my first position. This is first position. And this is our first position. From first to second, the displacement of the slider should be 40 mm. So I am going to take this is a 40 mm. Yeah, this is my second position. Okay, then first to third position. This is a slider should displace to 96 mm. Hence, I am going to take 96 mm along this line. 96 mm. 96 mm. This is my third position. This is also distance. 20 mm. Okay. This is my fixed link, position of the fixed link. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do means, just I'm going to join this first link 
first position okay sorry the going to join the second position and the fixed point second position and the fixed point here we know that if the theta that means input angle displaces to 30 degree the slider should move from here to here that means the 40 mark okay for that one just i am drawing this two second to o1 point this line entire line to 30 degree in anti clockwise manner and similar to the four bar mechanism that means it is in the previous lecture okay i'm just taking the right degree in anti clockwise manner this i am going to take this is point and this is our line and this point two comes here point two comes here point two comes here this is my two dash line similarly i am going to join this third point and o1 okay third point on o1 and during the third displacement if the theta displaces to 60 degree that means initial 1360 degree then slider should move to 96 mm slider should move from first initial point to final point which is 96 mm okay hence i am joining this o1 to 3 and i display this entire line o1 to 3 line to 60 degree in anti clockwise manner anti clockwise manner 60 degree in anti clockwise manner that means I'm just taking this suppose uh, suppose if you need to take the scale that's also in a better manner okay if you take this scale, it's better in mind. That means 20 mm or 10 mm, always it's okay. Then I'm mapping this third point to this line. Okay, mapping this third point to this line. This is my third point. Now what I'm going to do, do means just join these two lines. That means 2 dash to 1 as previous case and 1 to 3 dash as previous case. Now I am going to draw the perpendicular bisectors for 1 and 2 dash line and similarly 1 and 3 dash line. Hence so I get the two perpendicular bisectors. I am going to draw perpendicular bisector for the 1 and 2 dash line. Okay. I am going to draw this is the perpendicular bisector for this one line two dash line two dash line that means for this line this is a perpendicular bisector similarly i need to draw one line three dash i need to draw another perpendicular bisector another perpendicular bisector okay Take another half distance. No, no, no. This will be the perpendicular bisector for this and here we just extend these two perpendicular bisectors. At the end of which the two perpendicular bisectors should be because this is the, uh, where the two perpendicular bisectors means that is our industry point okay that is our needy, needy point that means from that point to our own link this should be our input link input link and from here to here this, this is the connecting rod and here the piston or slider will comes here the slider will comes okay suppose you need to check it just draw the figure 
that means as per the question if the input link that means o1 this link if the input link moves to 30 degree in clockwise manner and taking in clockwise manner what should be the displacement of the piston it is it should be in 40 mm just we need to check if it is moving in 30 degree if it is moving 30 degree the connecting rod should, should comes here okay comes here and this point and this point displaces to here and this point displaces to here and this point displaces to here okay now the connecting rod will displace us to the second point so we will see now the connecting point displaces to the second point That means now the slider comes to the second position. That means the first position to second position it should be it should be 40 mm as per the question. Okay, that means this position will move to theta is equal to 30 degree. Okay, this is a required design. That means suppose input link or crank equal to equal to 9.8 centimeter 9.8 centimeter and the connecting rope should be nearly equal to 13.8 The length of the link is this one, we can able to satisfy these conditions. Okay.